Hello friends, myself Chirag. Today I am going to discuss with you Flynn's taxonomy, topic of computer organization and architecture. First of all, Flynn's taxonomy proposed by Michael J. Flynn in 1966. Flynn's taxonomy, it is based on specific classification of parallel computer and architectures. Uh, classifications are based on the number of concurrent instructions. So we can say a single or multiple instruction and data stream. It is also single or multiple available in the architecture now what is instruction stream the sequence of instruction which is stored inside the memory and read by processor so we can say sequence of instruction read from memory it is called instruction stream what is data stream the operation performed on the data and data is stored inside the memory so fetch the data uh, as per the instruction so uh, it is called data stream now uh, detail flint's taxonomy one by one see of we can say single data stream multiple data stream single instruction stream multiple instruction stream Flynn's taxonomy first one single instruction single data so it is the SISD so application of SISD is uniprocessors now a multiple data stream single instruction so we can say SIMD so application of SIMD is vector processor and parallel processor third one MISD multiple instruction and single data stream so it may be pipeline computers fourth one MIMD multiple instruction multiple data so you can see this is the multi computers or multi processors now let us see SISD uh, in this figure you can see this is the SISD you can uh, show here a control unit processing unit and memory unit that all are individual units and you can see over here from the memory uh, instruction comes from the one by one in the sequence and given to the control unit control unit pass the instruction to the processing unit and uh, processing unit access the data as per the instruction from the uh, main memory so you can see this is the single instruction single data stream now see the discussion a uh, most conventional machine with one cpu containing a single arithmetic and logic unit it is called sisd second one sisd computers and sequential computers are same third one sisd represents the organization of a single computer containing a control unit a processor unit and a memory unit instruction are executed sequentially because a uh, program instruction is stored in memory one by one uh, uh, it means sequentially executed sequentially and the system may or may not have internal parallel processing capabilities in figure you can see only serial processing capabilities uh, sequential uh, processing capabilities so you can say there is no parallel processing capabilities available inside the sisd in sisd computer instruction are executed sequentially but may overlap in their execution stages second one simd uh, simd full form single instruction multiple data stream uh, in figure you can see over here there are the different processor unit and there are the different memory modules inside the shared memory and there is only one control unit for all the processor unit and uh, instruction is fetched from the memory module and given to the control unit and only one instruction pass to the all the processors we can say uh, any kind of instruction passed to the processor so all processor gets same instruction but data is different so we can say single instruction multiple data in figure you can see over here there is the single instruction passed from control unit and there are different kind of data uh, get from the memory module by processor units next this category corresponds to array processor or vector processor they have multiple program processing execution units and one control unit SIMD represents an organization that includes many processing units under the supervision of a common control unit. This is the 1, 2 up to n processing unit and there is only one control unit. So control unit control all the processing unit. Next, all processors receive the same instruction from the control unit but operate on different items of the data. We already discussed about that. Third one, MISD. Uh, full form of MISD, multiple instruction stream and single data stream now see the figure let's see figure uh, this is shared memory divided into memory module and there are one to n processor and all uh, processor unit have uh, individual control unit so in figure you can say this is the processor unit one this is control unit one so uh, fetch instruction from the shared memory and uh, we can say 
multiple instruction given to the processors also we can say there are uh, more than two or three instruction fetch from the uh, uh, memory and control unit uh, give to the processors and all the processor get different instruction not a single instruction but data is same so you can over here control one give the instruction uh, 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 to the processor unit uh, the different instruction uh, and compared to control unit one is given to the processor unit two and the single data we can say uh, instruction is different but data is same for all the processor unit so in in this uh, diagram we can see over here we can see that uh, output of the processor one is given to the input of the processor two then uh, output of the processor two given to the uh, processor unit three up to n so this uh, this is one kind of pipelining process there is no computer at present that can be classified as MISD mostly used in pipeline computers because uh, uh, input given to uh, output given to the next unit input so it is pipeline concept each receiving distinct instruction operating over the same data stream and its derivatives the result of the one processor become the input of the uh, next processor in the micropipe we have already discussed about that MISD structure is only of theoretical interest there is no practical system has been constructed using this organization last one MIMD multiple instruction multiple data stream uh, in this you can see over here this is the shared memory this is the processing if different processing units uh, that all have uh, cache memory and uh, in this system we can say multiple instruction multiple data so uh, one program divided into a small task and uh, all the different small tasks given to the all processor and different data given to the all processors so we can say this is the multiple instruction multiple data so concurrently number of uh, 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 some uh, small tasks uh, executed by uh, processor in MIMD most multiprocessor system and multiple computer system can be classified in this category so we can say this is also parallel computing in MIMD there are more than one processor unit having the ability to execute se uh, several programs simultaneously next one MIMD organization refer to computer system capable of processing several programs at the uh, same time we have already discussed uh, there is uh, one program uh, or we can say uh, there is one process divided into small task and all the different small tasks given to the individual processors contains multiple processing units you can see in the figure execution of multiple instruction on multiple data so it is called MIMD Thank you for watching this video. Please like, share and comment. Subscribe my channel on YouTube, Chirag Balodia. Press bell icon to get new video notification. Thank you.